Okay, here um, plumbus acetate, which we know is PB, that's going to be C2H3O2, and we know plumbus is lead 2, and we know that is soluble. Now, it doesn't say solution, but if we look, we have sulfuric acid, and we know that the acid, in order to be called by acid, has to be aqueous. So, um, we know that we have everything in solution. So the lead 2 is going to go with the sulfate, and if we look at the solubility rules, we know that is a solid. And then we know we're going to form, the H is going to go with the acetate, and acetate is minus 1, so um, I'm going to have to put only one hydrogen at a time with the acetate, so I'll need two of those. Okay, so now in order to write the total ionic equation, I know this is aqueous and lead to uh, plumbus, lead to is plus two. Then I have two acetates, and that is soluble. I know that all acetates are soluble. And then I have a strong acid, so I separate that into ions. Okay, so everything is ions on the left. Now on the right, we're going to write PbSO4 together because it is a precipitate. And then acetic acid also stays together because it's a weak acid. We write it as molecules. I'm going to put that in red. Whoops. Yes, we're going to put that in red. Weak acid, okay? So we write it as molecules. Okay, now what about the net ionic equation? Okay, well, if you look at it, lead changed. It went from ions to precipitate. Sulfate changed, so those don't get crossed out. Acetate and hydrogen also changed. They went from ions to forming a weak acid. So this is going to be same as the total. So we don't need to write anything. Nothing, cha uh, nothing gets crossed off because everything changed. But here's the interesting question. What about the conductivity? Um, does, does the fact that we have no ions on the right, does that make this a non-conducting solution? Well, the answer is there is conductivity and it is weak because we have a weak acid. And even though we don't write the weak acid, as ions, we write it as molecules, we know that there are going to be a few hydrogen ions and a few acetate ions. And that is why it is weak. But it's written as molecules because it's mostly molecules. It mostly stays together. That's why it's written that way in our equations.